Okay, so I'm seeing lots of blanks. I, I don't think I've signed this before. Okay. Troy won a toy car that's 12.5 centimeters long, has a surface area of 48 square centimeters, and a volume of 125 cubic centimeters. The volume of the actual car is 1.55 cubic meters. Okay, so this is just stating a bunch of facts here. Determine the scale factor used to build the toy car. Okay, how should I approach this? I think it's probably important to realize that if this is actual, then what does this toy car gonna, what are we gonna use, the terminology we're gonna use? Diagram, diagram all right? I would say, you go ahead and say, okay, this is, this is the diagram and this is the actual car. I wouldn't use new original in my, like if I were you, I wouldn't use new original because it might get confusing. Which one was there first, right? So we've got that figured out. So let's try to solve for A. Maybe I will just do this. The toy and the actual, we know that the toy is also the diagram. Okay. What do we know about them individually? So we know, for example, that we know their length, right? The length of the toy car is 12.5 centimeters. The length of the actual car, I don't know what it is. Um, we're talking about surface area, so surface area of the toy car is 48 squared centimeters. I don't know what the actual, it's not being given to me, what the actual surface area is. And it also talks about volume. The volume of the toy car is, has 125 cubic centimeters. And I do know the volume of the actual. It's 1.55 cubic meters. This one is a bit, this one has a lot going on. Um, there's some converting and whatnot. But we know both of them, right? This will allow us, this allows us to determine K, right? The fact that we know something about both of them, in this case their volume, will allow us to determine what scale factor has been used to get from, from one to the other. Okay? So... I will start like this. K cubed, because A is asking, find a scale factor to build a toy car. I'll say volume of diagram, volume of actual. Okay. I don't have that in front of me right now, but anyways, we'll go plug it in. K cubed, volume of diagram is 125 centimeters cubed, and the volume of the actual is this many meters cubed. What's the problem there? Yeah, convert the units, okay? Convert to cancel. I know that that's what it says. It's supposed to say that. So we'll do some converting here. It's uh, I've done it several ways. I will just take the 1.55 cubic meters and just take it out and do some conversions. Okay. So on the side here, I'll say that 1.55 cubic meters. I will multiply it by... I was nice enough to tell you what the conversion rate is. Okay. So we know that one cubic meter has how many zeros? Make sure you count them, right? Six zeros. Centimeters cubed. 
oh, by the way, I chose to do that. I chose to convert this one to centimeters cube, but you could have converted the centimeters cube to meters cubed. It doesn't matter. You come up with the same answer. Okay, so you cancel this out, and the decimal just shifts over six spots, right? So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that correct? Count the zeros, make sure you get the, that I got the, the correct number of zeros. We good? Okay. So I'm basically doing this. I'm converting here. If you want to have an arrow t showing what's happening. So we're going to go K cubed is 125 centimeters cubed over that big number. 1,555,000 centimeters cubed. So never forget to check the units, okay? So cancel, cancel, perfect. What happens now? Cube root. I'm gonna use a different color so it sticks out. So it's up to you how you want to do it. You want to go 125 divided by 1550 and then three zeros. You want to first figure that out. And don't say, don't say it's 8.06. That's wrong. You see that at the end here? It's times 10 to the negative 5. It's a really small number. So then you go ahead and, and cube root. So math 4 and then just copy and paste, like it pastes it in there, and there you, you have it. It's 0 0.0432. The question asked to state it in four decimal places. I don't know if you read that. And you also see the answer. Do you notice that? That is actually the answer. And that's what we got, so we're good. Can we turn that into a fraction? Anybody tried? Doesn't work. Can't do it. So, but we can do it uh, percentage if, if we were asked, right? Just multiply that by 100, it's 4.32%. So, that's what's left, right? So, it has been reduced significantly. Toy car, actual car, you can imagine that that was that. So, this is, this is answering A, by the way. I'm writing bigger than normal. But I have lots of space, so it should be fine. Now that you have this, folks, this doesn't change. This is what relates those two items, okay? So now that you have this, you can actually find the unknowns that we have up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. B, calculate the length of the actual car. Okay, that's B. So let's do that here. It's length. It's just one dimensional, okay? Just remember that. So we go K is length of diagram over length of actual. That's how it goes. No squaring, no cubing, that's it. I know my scale factor correct, all right? They either have to give it to you or you have to find it right off the bat, okay? So that's 0 0.0432 is equal to, I know this one, right? I know the diagram, the length of the diagram of the toy car is 12.5. <coughs> so this, the length of the actual is unknown to me, okay? Make sure you write this down. Do you, did I show you the power of one or not? The power of one. You put the one under under that decimal, now it's a fraction. It's a weird fraction, but still, we cross multiply and then we divide. So length here is 12.5 times one divided by 0 0.0432. Can you 
to see that, yeah? Okay. So 12.5 divided by 0 0.0432. 289.35. <coughs> What units are we in? Centimeters, right? That's the only the only units that are here are centimeters. So I could ask you to convert that to meters. It would be fairly simple, but we'll just keep it like that. Last but not least, I'm gonna cut this here, section it off so we don't mix things up, right? This is B here, and C is over here. Uh, I'll do my attendance. Can you try C real quick? And the answer is there, so you can check if you did it right. You got it? You checked your answer. So surface area, we're thinking 2D. So it's going to be K squared, yeah. Surface area of diagram, surface area of actual. So square, uh, squaring that scale factor, right? we just square it, and we know the surface area of the diagram is 48 centimeters squared over surface area of actual. Um, I don't know if I showed it to you this way. You could technically leave it as is and just, just uh, square it later. Um, what should I do? I think I'm gonna square it here right from the get-go. Square it, and I'm just gonna use partial numbers, right? But you put that over one, so you cross, multiply, and divide. So surface area is 48 times one, divided by 0 0.0432 squared. So if you wanna show it like that, I'm fine with it. That ends up being 48 over 0 0.001. I'm copying this number here. Eight, and I'm just gonna go dot, dot, dot like that. So surface area would be 48 divided by copy paste, right? And that's 25,720 and 16 squared centimeters. You could turn this into square meters, but uh, we'll just leave it like that. So just be careful to square or um, if you if you if you have the square a scale factor, you're just gonna have to, you're gonna be given one of these. You have to figure out the other one. The key is to either square or cube it, or maybe not even do anything to it if it's a one-dimensional uh, scenario, like length, radius, height, diameter, anything like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try. I'm, I'm skipping all over the place, okay? 49, question two. Forty-nine, question two. So it's like the bottom half of that page. Let's read it together before you get started. Okay? The plan for a new school, oh, there's the keyword new school, is that uh, that is being built shows that the gym will have a, an area of this many square feet, right? Officials decided to enlarge the dimensions of the gym to make it two and a half times larger. What do you think this is? That's a scale factor. So we know that K is what? 2.5. Okay, so be okay with that. You got to three times they tripled it, that would have been k is equal to three, right? Uh, if, they, if they made it half the original, then k is 0 0.5 or one over two, whatever you wanna do there. Um, so I think the rest, I'm just gonna leave that up to you, okay? For now, I'm just let you, gonna let you answer A, B, C, and D, okay? Scale factor is given. I'm preparing you, short and sweet. So make sure you bring a ruler. Okay, so we've got our scale factor figured out, done. We don't need to figure it out again. A, determine the area of the larger gym. I think we need to do a little bit of making sure we know what's what. So the new school, 
right, uh, is going to be the larger gym, okay? So large gym is the new, okay? So I'm making sure I don't mix up my terms here. So small gym is the original. Can I do that, OG? Is it probably should be like this, right? There, is the original, so don't mix them up, okay? So very, very important to do that. So when we're talking about area, you should know, okay, area of new, area of original. And we know that uh, this is 2.5, so 2.5, we're gonna square that. Uh, we don't know the area of the larger gym, this is our unknown. Okay, large gym is new, it's unknown. So the original, the original has, oh, did that make, did that throw you off? The plan for a new school is being built shows that the gym will have an area of this. Officials decided to enlarge the dimensions of the gym to make it two and a half times larger. I feel like that's confusing. The wording is very confusing. Did you think that this is the area of the new? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to make, determine the area of the, can we do this? Smaller gym? Smaller or original? Sorry about that. I, I in inserted this, uh, this is a new question. So I didn't, uh, I should have made sure it worked out. Yeah, sorry, we already know the new. So we want to know the original, okay? So we're going to do this. I apologize if, if this threw you off. I'm going to make sure that the test works out. Like that. You put the one under here. So this is 2250 times one. Don't forget that you're multiplying like this, then you divide. 2.5 divided by 2.5 squared. Okay, so 2250 over, what is that, 6 point, 2.5 squared, 6.25. So we go 2250, it's coming down hard, eh? 360 square feet. Okay, so that's technically what should have happened there. Okay, I apologize for that. Now you know I'm human. Anyways, B, uh, by what factor has the area been enlarged? And you would have to say by a factor of K squared. So. 2.5 squared, that'd be 6.25, okay? That's what I'm after. That's the factor that it's been enlarged by, the area, okay? It was specific to the area. Area has been enlarged by a factor of 6.25. C, if the capacity of the new gym is that many square uh, cubic feet, determine the capacity of the original gym. Okay, capacity is another fancy word for you can fill in, right? A bottle has a capacity, hollow objects have a capacity, right? So it's volume. K cubed is, uh, we can do capacity of new over capacity of original. And even if you didn't know this, you just look at the units that are provided and they're cubed, right? So you know you have to cube it. So this would be 2.5 to the power of three. Uh, we know this one. We want to know this one. Capacity of original. You put the one under here, so you know you have to cross multiply and divide. So capacity of original 
is 878-906-25 times 1 divided by 2.5 cubed. Let's just do that already. 2.5 uh, to the power of 3. That's 15.625. Okay. So we'll divide these two. 878-906.25 divided by that. And you get 56,250 cubic feet. 56,250 cubic feet is the capacity of the original gym. And, uh, right, you would kind of go by, right, that's how much um, space is in there. Volume, the volume of it. D. Oh, man, am I going to be able to do this? Oh, yeah, I, I think I can do this one. D, right, by K cubed. So you just go 2.5 to the power of 3. That's 15.625. We already knew that from the previous question. Okay, so volume has been enlarged by... 15.625. Okay, so there you have that part. It's crazy. Safe and sound in here, though. All right, one more. Um, I'm just looking at the table next. Uh, did I assign that table on 50 already? I'm not sure. I may have. I may not have. There will be a table on the test. Okay, so this is to see whether or not you know what you're doing. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to do that right now. Are you able to fill in uh, everything else? Which one is the original? Medium. Yeah, it's all filled in. What do you need to find first? If you go to another shape, Scale factor, yes, focus on that. You may have to cube root, you may have to square root, you may have to do nothing. Just find the two numbers and divide. So you have to decide what needs to be done. So go for it. Um, when you do tables, I would say tables shortcut. And maybe even scale diagrams. Scale diagrams. You might want to have these shortcuts, right? Because you're always interested in the new or the diagram. Okay? So you can replace this with diagram and actual, and you get the same thing. But once you have the scale factor, it's easy to get everything else for the new shape if you have to get it quick. Okay? So the scale factor, I have both of my areas. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to put a little one here and just do the work outside because that one probably ref needs a bit more space. I'm going to say that K is found by taking the square root of the, this is the original and this is the new, right? So you take new area of the new one and divide it by the area of the original. Because remember, you have both areas. Technically, there would have been a k squared here, right? But I'm square rooting. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what you need to do. That is really what happened there. So k would be 0 0.5, correct? If you did that right, you get 0 0.5. Okay. So the work is up here, and on a test, I'll have a workspace. So I would like you to show me, because if you just get a number in here and there's no work, I can't do anything. Right? There's nothing I can give you there. So make sure you show some sort of work. And then to find everything else that remains, this is one dimensional. This is one dimensional, correct? So I'm going to use this version right here. I'm going to go 0 0.5 times the diameter of the original, which is 6.5. And that ends up being 3.25 centimeters. Height is also one dimensional. 
So I'll just go 0 0.5 times the height of the original. And that gives me 4.65 centimeters. Scale factor doesn't have units. What about this one? I need the capacity, which is cubed. What am I going to do to this one? Cube it, right? K, it's Q, K cubed times the volume of the original. And then when you do that, you get 12.86, yeah, centimeters cubed. It's implied that it's centimeters cubed, but I don't mind writing it down. Let's do it one more time. So we're done with the small one. Now we're going to go to the large, which is also a new, right? This is the original. That's important. And this is also <laughs> new. So we need the scale factor. We have both of the volumes. So I'm going to put a little 2 here and do the work outside. K cubed is volume of uh, the new divided by the volume of the original. I need to cube root both sides. Make sure you use that index of 3. Okay, don't square root because this cancels out. K ends up being 2, exactly, if you did that right. So we know K is 2, and it's an enlargement, makes sense. Double check, does everything flow, right? Does it make sense to it, for it to be bigger than 1? Yes, it does, okay? And then you choose. I'm going to start from left to right. So K times 6.5. K times 9.3. This is K squared, because we're talking areas, times 133.77. Okay? And that's how you find that. So this would be 13. This would be 18.6. This would be 535.08. There you go. And that's a filled in table. On the test, I'll tell you already, some of these boxes are going to be crossed out. Don't fill those in. Don't waste your time filling those in. I'll just give you, I'll just give you marks for the ones I have a blank for, okay? So there will be a dash through it because I don't want you to do the whole thing necessarily. I just ask you for some specific ones, okay? Let's do our test checklist. And uh, that'll be that for today. Okay? So we're going to go to the very, oh. Okay, now we're going to go to the back of this booklet. Page 62 or any anything at the end there, I always put some blanks in there just in case.